and I joke, I grew my hair and stopped making yurts. You know, that was my midlife crisis. I, could, I couldn't afford a Harley Davidson. The history of it is really quite sad. Um, one, of, one of our daughter, Iona's best friends at school, died of a rare spinal tumour at the age of 19. And we got involved with the families doing a lot of um, fundraising. And then the following year, we did uh, a little follow-up to that, and we did a, a Kaylee up at Blair Castle, and we hired a year. So we we did this, and it was for Teenage Cancer Trust and Help the Heroes, with Jenny and I both being ex forces. A few months later, Jenny said, "Why don't you go on the workshop and do some steam bending and do some?" Oh yeah, okay, I'll do that. Went on that, said, came back, and she said, "Oh, that's great. Do you want to build me one for my birthday?" I turned a little lean-to in the bottom of the garden into a workshop, you know, and, and made a steam bender and just got on with it. 2015, and I remember steam bending on Christmas Eve in the snow, and it was great, and it's a great memory. And every time those yurts go up, especially particularly one of them, the very first one, uh, when that goes up, I always kind of think of that, I go back to that time and think, yeah, that's where it all started, behind the sheds at the bottom of the garden, the fire going, the snow around. Um, and you just realise how far you've come. Jenny's the, uh, the real sort of driving force behind the marketing and social media and the events we do in them and how, how they're styled and all that kind of thing. And then obviously the family, you know, the, the children, Gareth, Iona and Daisy, their partners, um, Fran, Liam and uh, Kavishka, they've all helped out. So yeah, it's a big family affair. As well. When, when we need extra pairs of hands, they're all there, pitching in, helping out. Looking back, there's always been a draw to do something with my hands. Creative, actually, I think. Things are different every time, every year, it makes different. From outside the, 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 the workshop here, you can look across the hill and see the woodland where the last lot of um, yurts were made from. You see to the last time, fantastic, it smells beautiful. Used ash the time before, used oak the time before that. Yeah, every one of them is, is actually quite special because it isn't a process, it isn't, it isn't a factory where we're just running them out, next one, next one. Everything is, is really made specifically and bespokely for that person. And they are yurts, they've been for birthday parties, hogmay parties. Weddings, family gatherings, dinners, you know, pop-up dinners, all sorts, everything and anything you need a space for, you, know, you can do it in a year. When people walk in, especially ones that have never been in a year before, or have been in a year and it's not been like one of mine, and they walk in and they duck in under the, and they look up and they almost seem to be lifted and their face and, and their, you know, their eyes are just saying wow. And it happens a lot, it happens every time one goes up, actually. If you can do something that, that makes people's lives happier and more joyful, then it's got to be a good thing, isn't it?